Action star hero Jason Statham may not be the first name that comes to mind when you think of mid-century modern design fanatics. It actually turns out he has an almost encyclopedic knowledge of the movement's design philosophies and major architects, which has led him to his perfectly appointed mid-century modern home in LA. When discussing his perfect place, the star says, put me in a glass box and I'll be very happy. There's just something really appealing about the symmetry and openness of things. Well, we'll take a look at Jason Statham's mansion in Los Angeles and other two properties he's called home over these years. In these videos, we don't don't reveal any addresses so please don't show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. You know Jason Statham as one of Hollywood's most bankable action stars of the past 20 years. Jason has been praised for leading the 2000s and 2010s action movie resurgences, selling a whopping $1.5 billion in ticket sales from 2002 to 2017. Throughout his film career, Statham has regularly performed his own stage combat and stunts. The former British national driver turned action hero has been able to accumulate a $90 million net worth throughout his film career. Before taking Hollywood by storm, Statham competed for England at the 1990 Commonwealth Games in the 10 meter, 3 meter, and 1 meter diving competitions. He said in the 2003 IGN interview that his time with the national squad was a great experience and taught him discipline, focus, and kept him out of trouble. Statham began specializing in sports modeling while he was training at London's Crystal Palace National Sports Center. He was also signed by Tommy Hilfiger Griffin and Levi's for various modeling contracts during their 1996 spring and summer collections. Now, Jason Statham didn't always live the life of fame and success that he has today. After his professional driving career, Statham was still finding it difficult to make ends meet. He eventually joined the black market where he sold fake perfume and jewelry alongside his father on the street. While working as a model for French Connection, he was introduced to British director Guy Ritchie, who was developing a film project and needed to fill the role of a streetwise con artist. After learning about Statham's past as a black market salesman, Ritchie cast him to play the role of Bacon in his 1998 crime comedy thriller, A Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. The movie was well received by both critics and audiences and helped put Statham them in the public eye. Hey guys, it's your boy Marlon Palmer and we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. In this one, we'll take a look at Jason Statham and a few mansions he has called home over the years. We've also done house tours on the likes of Daniel Radcliffe and Ariana Grande and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram at that McFly. We could talk some more, we, we could talk homes, real estate, whatever you want to do. Now, let's get into the video. Jason Statham's former home in Malibu, California features a 3,355 square foot, five bedroom and five bathroom mansion which sold in 2020 for $18.5 million. Its estimated value today is $17.5 million and has an estimated mortgage of $83,500. The listing describes it as a nestled in the world's most exclusive enclave, Malibu Colony, footsteps from Cross Creek Shopping and legendary Malibu Surf Rider Pier. The Black House is an organic masterpiece that has been renovated to perfection. Striking black cedar shingles adorn a bold oceanside architectural tour de force, a dramatic blend of sophistication and retro style, hearkening back to Malibu's golden age. The interior is a masterful mix of indoor outdoor living spaces set before the striking beauty of the Pacific Ocean. Walls of glass perfectly frame every sunset with boundless views of Malibu's favorite surf spot, Old Joe's. The open concept boasts an oceanside lounge, dining space, and ceiling high brick fireplace, a quintessential piece of mid century design. Walls of glass disappear leading you to an outdoor patio with direct access to the exclusive private beach. Guests are graciously appointed with a guest house with kitchen and bathroom. Bring your board and sandals and we'll give you the keys to paradise. One of Jason Statham's current mansions in Los Angeles, California features a 3,000 square foot, four bedroom and three bathroom pad which sold in 2015 for $2.7 million. It is currently estimated today at $3.72 million and an estimated mortgage of $17,800 a month. This iconic mid-century is an organic masterpiece. Recently featured in AD. Standard architects reimagined the property and their concept were brought to life by VRB. The finished product is a harmonious blend of mid-century and Scandinavian designs with all the latest and greatest modern amenities. An asymmetrical roof line cladded in cedar wood throughout the entire house frames a living space crafted around a seamless California indoor-outdoor floor plan.
plan. Oversized light filled rooms include a luxurious master suite featuring a modern bathroom with freestanding tub influenced by John Pawson's Baron House walking oak closet and private outdoor lounge with fire pit. Famous Claire Story windows and floor to ceiling glass sliders open to a private secluded oasis and saltwater basalt pool. Amenities include a barrel sauna with oversized heater and Hoshizaki ice maker with stainless steel immersion tub for Wim Hof method. Experience the golden area of mid-century architecture and the pinnacle of style and design. And now the holy grail of Jason Statham's real estate is a mansion in Beverly Hills, California. With over 7,000 square feet, five bedroom and eight bathrooms, the mansion last sold in 2015 for 13 million. However, today it is worth $14.2 million. Now, if you ever wanna purchase this bad boy, the estimated mortgage is $67,800 a month. The listing for the five bedroom dwelling is short on details, but a quick glance at the photos of the interior reveals a pared down reclaimed wood aesthetic going on in there. White paint skylights and large windows keep things bright inside. Outside, the backyard has large hedges and a spectacular pool. During a successful career smashing at the box office, it should come as no surprise to learn that Jason Statham and Rosie Huntington Whiteley are living the lavish life. From the outside, it looks like the ultimate beach house, but appearances are deceiving. While it may just look like a fairly small square building, this mansion extends much further into the trees behind. It appears the couple are still very much in love with their home because they have lived in this pad since 2015. As soon as you walk into Jason Statham's house, you are taken by the sheer size of the house. Your eyes would widen at the sight of this light and cozy home, and it's clear that Jason and Rosie prefer to live in an open plan lifestyle. With more than enough space to fit a kitchen, dining area, and seating area in this one room, it's the perfect room for entertaining. No house is complete without an impressive kitchen, and Jason Statham clearly has that box check marked. There's no doubt about the fact that they have more than enough space to cook up a storm if they both want it to rain in the kitchen. Decked out in white and silver furnishings, this kitchen has all of the accessories they could need to make a delicious meal. It's hard to deny the seaside feel to the home. This is also emphasized by the fact that the cream flooring looks almost like sand on a beach. The couple has tried to keep their home as decluttered as possible, and the discreet look totally works for them. Sure, Jason Statham is used to action-packed days, but it doesn't mean he does not know how to chill in one of those many living areas. While white couches are always going to be a little dangerous, this color seems to work well with the rest of the decor. It's a perfect mix of soft furnishings with darker and lighter woods to truly take you back to nature. We all know it's the little things that make a home, and Jason and Rosie have found the balance perfectly with their additions. They have various portraits and pieces of art on the walls. To make their bedroom their own, Jason Statham and Rosie Huntington Whiteley have added a few more personal touches to their space. They have added storage on both sides of the bed, as well as bedside lamps and a pop of color through the art on the wall. After a long day of getting all hot and bothered from action scenes, Statham has to make a tough decision to make when he gets home. Should he have a soak in the roll top tub or should he jump in the walk-in shower? Jason's backyard offers swimming facilities, a hammock, day beds, and even a table and chairs to enjoy delicious barbecue food. Considering Jason and his wife have a young son, we bet he loves playing out there. And that's all I have for Jason Statham and where he calls home. After looking at a few of his properties past and present, what did you guys think? Be sure to rate his homes in the comments down below. I gotta say that mansion in Beverly Hills is like I'd rate it a 12 out of 10 from what I could see. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next video.